Happy Al Santa. I wish to have a horse for Christmas. Желание исполнено. Wish granted. Hey everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about all Fairly Odd Parents games for the PS2 and GameCube. Fairly Odd Parents Breaking the Rules is a mixed bag. The game is horrible and objectively bad while at the same time it's playable and you can have fun while playing. The biggest problems are the controls and poor depth perception. The game is mostly a platformer and jumping is horrible. Timmy has no weight or doesn't feel like has one. And since the depth perception is so poor, doing basic stuff like jumping a platform or climbing something can become a chore. Also the character models are ugly and the sound is horrible too. It's like they record it on a java phone to make this game. But on the upside, even if most of the game is platforming and backtracking to find stars in a level, the game has some variety too. It has some light combat that is more annoying than fun and it also has some basic boss battles that drag for too long. Though in spite all of this, the game does offer some fun, but I wouldn't recommend it, since it's objectively bad in my opinion. And Fairly Odd Parents Shadow Showdown is a big improvement over its predecessor. The graphics look good, instead of the weird and ugly graphics from the first game, the sound is also better and the gameplay, the most important part, is also better. In gameplay, platforming has been tweaked and it feels less annoying now. Also in each level you unlock a special ability and abilities not only that make the game varied but are also fun to use. Each game mechanic feels at its place, it doesn't feel like a gimmick and that the developers tried to integrate just for the sake of variety. No, each special ability feels good. And you get so many abilities that the first game looks repetitive in comparison to this one. Also this time the game isn't a collect all stars platformer. This time the game is a puzzle platformer and I consider it better. The combat is sloppy, Timmy has a ground pawn move and this stuff, but it's really sloppy. Luckily you don't have a heart system in the game, so you never die, and checkpoints are nicely split. Also this game has multiplayer minigames, and all of them suck. Overall, the game is good, it's definitely better than breaking the rules, but it's not perfect. It still has many shortcomings, moments where the game feels sloppy and clunky, but overall, and especially considering that it's a tie-in game and tie-ins are usually bad, this one is actually pretty good. 